first day of September, and the first big weekend of the college football season has finally arrived. Today, we're at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia as the Temple Owls look to build up a solid 2017. They open up against crosstown rival Villanova, an FCS power. Villanova coming off a of five and six season last year. They run it on the first play, and it's a good one. Up the middle, across the 45 to the 48 yard line, that's Aaron Forbes. We have to keep our focus. We have to play fast. We have to play physical. You guys stick together and hit. After the run by Goodzak, it's first down. They swing it out wide open. Out of the backfield is McClinton. And he gets it down close to the goal line. They're going to mark him out inside the five at the one. Gets him down to the one. First down and goal to go. Bitnarzik looking to the end zone. Fires caught. Touchdown. Ryan Bell. The senior tight end. And it's 6 0 Wildcats. Here's the money down for the Owls. Third down. And 12. New tile able to convert as he hits Brandon Mack. The 6'5, 215 pound sophomore receiver. Third and long moments ago. Trying to keep the drive going here. New tile throws to the outside. Man wide open. Ventel Bryant who hauls it in. Out of the hold of Anthony Russo. And just like he did last year against Nova, he bangs it home and puts Temple on the board. But starting quarterback for Washington. Chris Peterson has a great team coming back. On third down, it's complete to Bell. And Nova able to keep the drive alive. The Villanova Benz basketball coach for 17 years. So this place. As a university, very, very tight knit. Justin Covington, the number three back on the depth chart in the conference in most categories. So now Villanova facing a second and 17. Over the middle, it's the tight end Ryan Bell again. First quarter, Ignarzik slides up in the pocket, has pressure, finds a man in the end zone, touchdown. Brandon Chadbourne. Two drives for Villanova, two touchdowns. Man, he missed it. Control the offense mentally. He constructed with that time on the sideline. Here's Forbes being destructive to that Temple defense. Rips one to the 40 yard line, inside the 40 to the 37. Play action, Bernardzik to his tight end. He's got the first down. This from 32. Blocked! And it's scooped up! Getting loose! Kamir Brown! He's gonna take it back! Touchdown! Villanova forced into its first three and out of the game as Nathan Fondacaro, true freshman punter with his first career kick. Isaiah Wright on the return, and it's a good one. Across the 35, across the 40, and pulled down at the 42-yard line. He might be just trying to draw him offside. No, nope. snap, new talent for pressure, and down he goes at the 40. Malik Fisher. A star on the rise for the Villanova Wildcats on today. They need the 34-yard line. They got it, and then some Jarek McClinton with the catch. The senior out of Flanders, New York, preseason FCS All-American. There's a completion to the tight end again, Ryan Bell. But he's going to be about a yard shy of the first down needed. They have two timeouts to use. Covington, first down Villanova. Special over 20 minutes they've had the ball here in the first half. Bidnarzik ducking a tackler and then he swarmed under. Michael Dogby, 
The red shirt senior, time running, under 10 seconds to go. Nova's out of timeouts. Kresge, the kicker. He was on the field, and he didn't get off the field as Bidnarsik spikes the ball or tries to before That's the, the clock end of the first runs half. Out. Couldn't do it. The one thing you couldn't do, take a sack. Utah complete to Mac. That's how you do it. <laughs> of letting the ball go. Back to Armstead. Find some room along the near sideline. That's a good run on first down. Kyle said, I love getting it empty. Here's Newtown pressured, hit as he throws, got it away to Mack. And he's upended inside the 25 yard line, close to another Temple first down. Get downhill. Newtown, second and 13, going to the end zone. Receiver caught it. Isaiah Wright. Touchdown, Temple. It, it, they're passionate. It's just honest, non-stop passion. And when you play for their teams, you're part of their family. No you know? doubt about it. And so they're protective of their players. Turned to fourth down in the first half. But Narzik is complete. That's a strike to the 34-yard line to McClinton. That backs Nova up to the 40-yard line. But Narzik trying to get it back. Intercepted. First turnover of the game. But Centeo is in on this play to start the fourth, and he throws a strike. His first pass attempt of the day is to then tell Bryant a big gain in the Villanova territory. Fisher one on one. Newtown has time to throw, has a man, it's right. Complete, gets out of a tackle, and he's finally brought down inside the 20. No. Boomeri, who was the hero of this matchup a year ago with the 49-yard game winner, pushes one to the outside. There's Bell in motion. Play action. He's going to swing it out to Bell. Bell vaults a player and gets to the 50-yard line. They've only got 13 points. They've scored touchdowns on their two opening drives today. Here's Javon Jones, his first touch of the afternoon. The converted defensive back hauls in his first catch of the year. That's a gain of 15. Down four in this football game. Nova's going for it on fourth and nine. Number 85 is Ryan Bell. Keep an eye on him. He's lined up in the slot. Chase Bernardzik running for his life. Got it downfield. Caught! McClinton, touchdown! Zach Bednarczyk. No. Kresge's extra point is no good. Safe to say we have not seen Frankie Juice here this afternoon. And as I say that, he throws a strike to Jaden Blue at the 50-yard line. Temple, whatever you want to do, just run your offense. Intercepted. Picked off by Villanova's Jeff Steed. First Temple turnover today, and it is extremely costly. He threw an interception on the last possession. It was very costly as they were marching. Newtown from the goal line steps up, comes to the near sideline, and it's intercepted again. Elijah Trent. A true freshman picks off Frankie Jews and Villanova can salt this one away. But hold on. Now it's going to be a celebration penalty on Villanova. Flags down, but they're just celebration penalties. Good for them. Good for Mark Ferrante replacing a legend like Andy Talley. Yeah. And how about the underdog in the city of Philadelphia takes it on again? Huh? A little bit of a rocky moment here for Villanova.